Justin is having a rough oh. afternoon. Emma keeps accidentally hitting him. For she the <laughs> oh, she popped right up. Oh. Are you okay? Let me grab this leash. <laughs> Wait, we gotta go. So for the last couple days or so, Bo has been itching at this one spot. We we got him checked for fleas and they said he didn't have fleas. So we're at the vet this morning to see. Maybe he has some sort of like rash or skin condition. I'm not really sure, but he's starting to like nibble in the same spot over and over, which is causing him to lose hair in that spot, which isn't good. So I'm gonna take him to the vet and just make sure everything's okay. He doesn't have like a rash or skin thing or something. I think my mom said it could be something called a hot spot. Come on. I don't know. Just bet us to get it checked out. Come on. Okay, so good news is that it's nothing to really worry about. The vet thinks that he's getting seasonal allergies, which I didn't even know that dogs got those. So she gave me some mousse that's like an anti-itch cream that I'm going to rub on the spots where he's been nibbling at. And then this pill that helps with immediately helping the itching from stopping. And then they also gave him a shot that I'm gonna come in for every four to eight weeks, I think she said. So it like helps prevent the itching, helps with seasonal allergies. And she said it could either be seasonal or it could just be she he needs it all year round. So we'll have to kind of see if like we go a week or two and we notice that he's fine, then it's probably okay. And then if not, then this first sign of itching, she said to bring him in and to get that pill take or get that shot so that he doesn't get bothered by it anymore. But I'm glad he's okay. He just he hates the vet. Like he gets so nervous because he always thinks that he's gonna get a shot, which today he had to, so I'm just happy that he's okay. We can go home now and get him this cream rubbed on him, which is gonna be kind of gross, but I'll do anything for my baby. It's time to go home, buddy. We can go home now. I heard that you did so good during your swim lesson this morning. I heard that you only <laughs> whined when you went in and that you even got out early because you did so good. Is that true? That is actually the second time that I've not been able to go to her swim lesson because of I had IVF meds coming in the mail one day and then today I had to take Bo to his vet appointment and that's the second time that I've missed it that Justin said that she did a really good job at swim. So I wonder if it makes it worse when I go because she wants me to hold her. I know, I wish it was like a little bit closer because then Justin could take her by himself but it's kind of far to like have only one of us attend. <gasps> Mwah. Yeah, did you do so good? Mm. Yeah, oh, well, right in the middle of the screen. We're gonna go swimming, okay? We gotta get ready. Papu, we gotta go swimming. Sorry, Are you gonna go in the splash bag? I'm going in the splash bag with her. <laughs> well, but I need flip flops if we're gonna yeah. do that. Well, we're not gonna have time to go to the store before because we're meeting Kelly there probably. I can't take her in then. Then you can wear your water shoes from camp. No, they're gone. You threw them away. Oh, that's right. They were so they were nothing. falling apart. I had nothing I could wear. You don't have your old flip flops? No, remember they got broken at camp? Oh, then you can't go in the water. I'm sorry. We don't have time to go right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, babe. I know. We'll figure it out. We'll get you some new flip flops. Bo's, Bo's going to make you feel all better about it. <laughs> so I saw someone post that I'm friends with on Facebook that our city got a new... Our city got a new splash pad for little kids because the one that we have is always so crowded. Oh gosh, it's multitasking. It's always super crowded. So we're going to try out this new one we have no idea where it is we're just gonna kind of um drive until we find it because i know i know what street it's on but i don't know where it is so we're gonna go try and find it and hopefully meet up with kaylee and the kids and have some fun at the splash pad we'll see worst case scenario um we go to the old splash pad it's just a little bit more crowded but i think that we'll be able to find this new one you're going the wrong way yeah you are you're going to nicholas oh, there's the accident you're going to Nicholas. I know, it's fine. We're already going this way. Okay. There's an accident. But it is the wrong way. <laughs>
go. Thank you, Annabelle. Are you trying to cover her up and dry her off? You're so helpful. I think she's all done in the water today. She's gotten in the water a lot today. Here, do you wanna get down? No, I wanna stand up here and get into some trouble. Thank you for sharing. It's not long before they start sharing clothes. Oh. We just drove and found this um, water park. I don't know if you saw it, Kaylee, on the, like, the Murrieta page where people were posting about it. It's like new. There's like nobody, well now there's not literally there's anybody here. here. We're the only ones here. It's a couple yeah. weeks old. It's I saw newer. Them, I saw them building it, but I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's yet. pretty new and it looks like, so there's like a field across Not from yet. it. They might be putting in like a playground or something. I don't know, it's just really cool. We gotta come here and hang out for a little. I don't think you know how it works, guys. You're gonna get wet. I know, I feel like this is just gonna like. It will. I think you guys are doing it wrong. I don't think this is how it goes. Is like sand here? Yeah. What? I don't think so. was doing. Maybe you guys are too big. Maybe kids have to do it. <laughs> We're too heavy for that. <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> okay, wear your glasses and go splash mommy. Get her, Annabelle, get her! Get her, Annabelle, get her! Nope, nope, she's done. Oh, here. She, oh, gotta give the glasses. All right, go get her. Go get her. Not that way. Where are you going? This is the first time we've hung out in a long time. I feel like I haven't seen you in a <laughs> forever bump, but so busy. Every time we have plans to hang out, every time, or like one of us asks to babysit the other's kids, it falls through. Something, <laughs> something has come up literally like the last like four weeks. I don't know. I know. Go. I know Annabelle's been asking every day. She's like, can we go to Auntie's you got house? Money. Oh, you miss Auntie? She woke up. What did you say? That's so nice. What did you say when you woke up this morning? You wanna see Bobo? Oh, Bobo got some little allergy medication this Aww. morning. Yeah, he's been itching at like this one spot on his oh side. So I know, we need better. to come see him. I know, yeah, I think Bo misses you. <laughs> the water's spraying kind of over <laughs> Annabelle, what's wrong? <laughs> come on, you're trying to run. Come on. She's so mad because I'm not picking her up. Hey, this way. Hey, <laughs> you gonna go back? I cannot believe this girl is walking now. She doesn't really even crawl anymore unless she really, really, really wants to go fast. Justin does a really good impression of her like crawling super fast when she's trying to get <laughs> what she wants. <laughs> okay, that's kind of creepy actually. <laughs> but she's like, she's walking only now. I don't really ever see her crawling anymore unless, of course, literally as I say that, she's gonna start crawling. But for like 95% of the time now, she's walking, walking, walking. I can't believe it, she's so big. Like seriously, she's like a toddler now and her birthday is in less than two weeks. So it's just been kind of crazy. We actually just got back from a house that we went to go look at. Oh my God, I have a wart on there. Let's burn it off. I, no. No, cause I'm getting one too, so let's burn it off. I'm getting one right here. As I was saying, we just got back from looking at a house that we wanted to look at for a long time, and we loved it, but this is getting so oh. hard because there's like, obviously you guys have bought homes before. You, there's certain things that you love about the property versus things that are just like, I don't know. So like, I feel like the things that we want in a property, we can't have all of them. Clearly, so we're having to like figure out and it's getting so hard because there's certain things I don't want to give up but yeah. then like the big yard is what I've always wanted for Emma, for Bo, for us. And that was today's, <sighs> it was perfect. Yeah, the Except backyard. The only thing was that it was just a little small inside. It's hot. There's pros and cons with everything I think that we're gonna find. Yeah. But today's walk was beautiful. It was so beautiful, you guys. I like we didn't it. show it even because I'm selfish and I really want it and I don't want to show it and then it go away. Right. But but I I don't know. He's gonna give us some numbers on it and just so we can get an idea. About We're gonna it. see if we can negotiate it all, but the price Well is if pretty, we put an offer in. Yeah, the price is pretty high excited. for what we're looking for. For so, what it's worth. Yeah. It's for pretty the size, high. For the size so but luckily our realtor actually knows the person who's selling it because he like mentored her, I guess. So they have a pretty well, good it's, insight. It's his, it's his real estate. No, I know, but he just yeah. said that he mentored her. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> she's, she's happy with her lamb. Um, but yeah, he's gonna see if he can kind of figure out 
what the negotiated price would be if we could put an offer on on it. Um, but we haven't decided anything yet because it's such a big decision, as you guys know. Hi, you just want to be the star of the show. That's okay. You want to be the star of the show with you and your lamb? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's getting so hard to like fall in love with a place and then it not work out But I know it'll be worth it. We'll figure it out We'll get the place that we are meant to get whether that's here or in another state or wherever we end up but It's been um it's been an interesting week as far as looking at properties go <laughs> Kisses Kisses give kisses Emma just hit Justin right in the face with the phone. She got me like right in the temple and I got like an instant headache. I'm it sorry. was the weirdest like spot to be hit. Yeah, I'm sorry. Say sorry, Emma. She doesn't care. I love you so much. <laughs> Even though it hurts. Even when my mom leaves to move to her new home, she can't stop momming before she goes. So she had me come empty out her fridge because they're getting rid of everything. And she pre- Rose some meals that she gave Justin and I. So we're gonna have some corned beef and cabbage tonight that my mom cooked and all we have to do now is throw them in the microwave. So I love you mom. She can't stop momming even when she's about to move away. And we have that and I think we also have like fried macaroni and cheese which is in the freezer. Justin won't eat it, obviously. Yeah. Justin looks like he's dying ever yeah. since Emma hit him. The reason I love, I, I have a love-hate relationship with looking at houses. I love looking at houses because it's so cool to go see like big lots and stuff and like yeah picture us living in a new place but what's so emotionally tolling that i never understood before until now after doing it a lot is coming here each time and like you're getting in a different headspace each time because you're trying to picture your family living here in a different spot and trying to like work that all out in your head and then you come back to your house and you're like man and it's just like it's emotionally tolling and if you guys have been through this man you know but people told us that before we started looking at houses. They're like, it's tough. And I was like, no, it's not. It's gonna be fun. But now I like see it. I feel it now. I think some people get really lucky and find the place that they like really want and exactly what they're looking for on the first go. We have not. Who are you calling? Who are you calling? Hang up. We ha we have not been that lucky. We've been we've oh, been to a lot of houses. She's calling seven one four four five. Uh, star, five star, nine oh pound, gosh. nine pounds, or six pounds. I just want a big yard for my puppy. By the way, he seems to be feeling better already. The medicine that the doctor gave us to put on his itchy spots. I haven't, have you seen him itch? Uh, not those spots. No, I haven't uh, either. I, haven't, I haven't seen it. You're such That's a good, good boy. You are such a good I hope boy. He feels better. We have a follow up appointment in two weeks. All better. Look at those ears. You go. I'm gonna quit disabling my phone. You would go? I can't, I can't deal with his ears when you say certain words. What? Boy, you want to go? Yeah. Where's your miso? We call his toys his misos because oh. we call him Mr. Miso and he thinks miso means miso. toy. Where's miso soup? Where's miso soup? Okay. <laughs> He's got to go look for a toy now. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's under the couch. It's under the couch. Here, I'll get it. There's a tennis ball in there. Okay, watch out, Emma. Okay, ready? Go get it. Justin is having a oh, rough oh. afternoon. Emma keeps accidentally hitting him. For she the <laughs> oh, she popped right up. Oh. Are you okay? She that's did like the pot when you hit someone in the nose with the pot, she hit it. It's like, like right the there. that's the dad life, babe. You I okay? love you. <laughs> Are you reminding yourself of that right now? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Are you okay? I think Justin's done. He's out. That's just me and Emma for the rest of the night. Maybe Mister's just checking to see if he's alive. He's sniffing him. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Listen. Come here. Come here. So nice. Thank you, Daddy. Ow. She's saying sorry. Hey. Oh, she's done. So I went and grabbed Rochelle and I some dinner. The food that we set out earlier didn't defrost in time, unfortunately. I think we probably should have left it in the fridge overnight, so that sucks. But we had to go get food because we didn't get any groceries. I was really looking forward to having some corned beef and cabbage. That sounded good. It's a meal that I haven't had in a long time, so I'm kind of bummed out about that. But I got like our next favorite place, which is Bushfire Grill. If you guys live out here in Temecula, you guys know that place is delicious. So we got like a chicken sandwich and some fries. 
Um, and then I gotta go to the 99 cent store real quick and grab some ice because our stupid ice machine is not working in our fridge anymore. We've been using the little ice trays, that, um, like the old school ice trays, and they just take way too long to freeze ice cubes, especially when you're using them a lot like we do for our hydro flasks. It's a big pain in the butt. What are you doing? You straddling mama's hips? You're so cute. Look at those little legs. Oh, let me smell you. Oh, you smell so clean. Did you have a good bath? She kiss me. Kiss oh, don't kiss me. No, you kiss me. You kiss me. You kiss me. That was a fake kiss. That was a sign with That's because she's mad you wouldn't let her drink the bath water. I won't. I won't. Which she keeps kiss. trying to do, by the way. It's I obnoxious. I won't let you drink it. Now she's just gonna eat your cheek. Hey, give me it. Give me a kiss. Oh, you gonna get ah! me a pinch she just pinched my tricep Ow. she's been in the in the mood of hurting me today you've hurt me three times Oh, she turns one in like 13 days. I just wanted to come be a part of it too. Oh, my baby. My I, can't so, I can't believe you're getting so old. I can't believe you're getting so old, little one. Oh, okay. All right. Hello. Well, guys, that's going to be it for the day. We're going to end the vlog and try and cool off because it's still so hot in here. We're getting our AC fixed hopefully tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. But we're going to put this little one to bed here in a couple minutes. And then me and mom are just going to chill. So we love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll talk to you guys later, all right? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.